This video will be the continuation of the last video where I tried to explain what is interface segregation principle. In this video, I am going to explain what is dependency inversion principle in solid design principle in Java or any object oriented programming language. So let's see what is the layout of this video. In this video, I am going to explain what is dependency inversion principle in theory followed by a code example. So let's see what is dependency inversion principle. Dependency inversion principle states that any high level module should not be dependent on a low level module. Both should depend on abstraction and abstraction should not depend on detail. Details should be dependent on abstraction. To explain it in detail, let me go through a code example. So moving to a code example, for the sake of the time, I have already written the initial code. You can see I have three classes in my code. One is backend developer, one is frontend developer and one is project. The backend and the frontend developer is the low level module. The project is the high level module. Now, what I'm trying to explain here is, now suppose you're writing a project which requires a backend developer and a frontend developer. So the backend and the frontend developer acts as a low level module in this high level module called project. So if you see, this backend developer has a method called write Java. Similarly, the frontend developer also have a method called write Java script. And the project class is using these two classes, backend developer and the frontend developer, which are the low level models directly into it. With this approach, we can see that the high level model project is dependent on the low level module called backend developer and frontend developer directly. This is clearly violating the first line or the first statement of the dependency inversion principle, which states that high level module should not be dependent on the low level module. Both should be dependent on abstraction. Now, the second model states that abstraction should not depend on detail. If you see this, my abstraction or my the low level modules like backend developer and the frontend developer is directly dependent on the detail of the method. Like write Java have some details. Similarly, the frontend developer also depend on the details of the method. So this particular example is clearly violating the dependency inversion principle. How we can convert this program so that it will be compatible with the dependency inversion principle. So let me convert this program so that it will be compatible with the dependency inversion principle. To do that, let me create an interface So let me create an interface and give the name as developer. We can use abstract class or we can use the interface also. So in this developer, I will have a method called public void develop. So my two low level modules called backend developer and the frontend developer have to implement this developer interface. Let me do that. The backend developer now have to implement that developer interface and what it has to do is implement that develop method. So let me implement that develop method. So let me implement that develop method. Public void develop. And from the develop method, it can call this write Java method. Similarly, so my frontend developer also have to implement that interface developer. So let me implement that developer interface here. When it is implementing the developer interface, it has to implement that method also. So let me implement that. Is, uh, develop method. And from develop method, I can call this write JavaScript method. 
So now you can see my low level modules are not directly dependent on the right Java script. It is dependent on that abstraction or that interface developer. Now my high level module, that project should not be dependent on the low level modules directly. So convert this project into the dependency inversion principle. What we have to do is remove these two lines so that we will not be directly dependent on the low level models. And in this implement method, we can ask for developer reference. And instead of calling write Java and JavaScript from using backend developer and frontend developer object, we can call it using the dev dot develop method. So now you can see my project class, which is the high level class, is not dependent on the low level modules directly. It is getting dependent on these low level modules through the interface developer. Similarly, my low level modules are not directly dependent on the details. It is dependent on the abstraction. So this is all about dependency inversion principle. Hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please subscribe my channel. Have a great day. Bye.